Last and certainly not least, we are going to talk about the infamous $25,000 Tesla. Um, <laughs> Isaiah, you're the expert on Tesla. Let's go ahead and hear it. Yeah, man. Uh, brother, I'm just going to speak my mind, man. I ain't no expert, just a man with a dream and a scheme. Mm -hmm. uh, so, <laughs> uh, that was cheesy. Uh, uh, given the FSD costs about 15K, uh, I don't believe Elon is banking customers to drive off the lot spending 25K for his car. Yeah. Um, you know, he says the car will operate mainly in autonomous mode. So again, he's banking on FSD tech to improve along with updates to Tesla Vision, which in its current state is not fully usable on city streets, but decent enough on the highways. That is accurate. Uh, he may also need to consider a rollback to LiDAR with the parking assist being as unreliable as it is. Uh, now, the tech is going to be where the money is, man. With the added incentive of breaking even by participating in the future robo-taxi ecosystem, in all honesty, the mistake here is that the car is supposed to be autonomous and not humanly driven. At least that's the primary use case. Mm. Uh, now, the general public, I think, wanted a stripped down bare bones minimum version of a Tesla to drive around without the robo taxi and FSD system being the primary use case. But time will tell. It's just my personal take on it. Brandon? Yeah. Yeah, I do agree. Uh, Tesla is geared towards autonomous driving and robo taxis. And if you're skeptical about the tech behind the car, you still have the rest of the fleet to fall back to. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I hope you enjoyed this episode of the BCIP podcast. Until next time, much love, and we will see you all soon. Peace.